Hi, this is John O'Brien. This is my base mechanical model for the biomechanical hand or smart prosthetic that I am designing. This is the initial mechanical design of the prosthetic. Now what makes this different from current or from what I know current uh, prosthetic, smart prosthetic designs is that it has 44 to 46 functions, uh, distinct motions uh, that make it very similar or in almost an exact match to what the actual human hand can do. Now, uh, around here, this is where uh, the joint for the wrist is going to be. Uh, these are all the joints for the finger and uh, along with a lot of other parts that I would rather not show so people can't copy it. Now, a uh, couple, there's at least three or four things that are very distinct about this that I have not seen in any other design to date. Uh, unless it's, I'm unaware of it, I don't know. Uh, one of which is a very important thing that is essential to um, a lot of daily activities that are really taken for granted unless you don't have a hand uh, or armor, etc. Uh, like holding a pen or uh, a fork or a spoon or uh, washing dishes, things like, uh, things like that that really uh, you can't do essentially unless you have the full functionality of your hand. And, I mean, a lot of previous prosthetics, all they do is squeeze, and they take the hand, and then they just go down, and that's all they do. And then the thumb just goes up, or you can squeeze and tighten like a claw gripper, only it looks like a hand. Uh, now, what my design uh, is trying to focus on is the flexibility that you have with the actual human hand. Uh, and one of these is this motion that lets you move your finger back and forth. And that is doable with all the fingers. Uh, I used my own hand as a model and for flexibility and uh, also for size. Uh, I use my left hand because my right hand is harder to draw with <laughs> in my uh, sketches. So that's, uh, that's one of the main pieces I was focusing on and trying to get right. Uh, how it's going to actuate I can't say at the moment because I, again I don't want this design copied. Uh, but it'll be out there eventually maybe when I get a patent pending. Uh, now the thumb uh, took a long time, but it uh, again I'm trying to follow the same kind of design path, so it looks a little weird uh, with how it looks right now. But um, one of the things that I definitely really tried to do was um, a test that I seen doctors do in um, uh, orthopedic uh, surgeon or consultation. Uh, office that uh, was a test to, I guess, see if you, what kind of functionality you have after an injury. Uh, and I had a motorcycle injury a while back, and one of the tests they made me do was to uh, take the thumb and move it in a certain position around here and connect my pinky and my thumb and uh, connect, you know, my tip of my thumb to my ring finger, tip of the thumb to the index finger, and then same thing for uh, the middle finger and the index. Um, so as you can see, uh, with the functionality that this thing has, you can make, uh, you can actually use it to uh, do sign language, uh, which is uh, another thing that uh, I definitely wanted to include. Um, so along with everyday life uh, things that you can do with your hand. You can also use it to sign, play piano, play guitar like I do, uh, and 
uh, other activities with various musical instruments uh, that would require the flexibility that I've designed into this. Um, now, one of the other things I wanted to do is to uh, be able to hold a pen or a fork or a spoon. Um, and I've done that. I just pre-did it because it's a, a little bit harder to uh, do on the fly uh, and line it up perfectly. Uh, and that's what I kind of got a gist of here. Being able to do that is a little bit more tricky than any other prosthetic has been able to do. And the way I'm going to interface it uh, allows you to do this simply, easily, and more directly than using motors at every single point, which kind of gives away part of how I'm going to actuate it. But you know, I'll leave it at that. And so that's the hand position that I made, uh, which is uh, essential to any kind of using of utensils. So that's this. This is just the hand. Uh, I I will be going out to doing the forearm, the whole arm. Uh, actually, the <laughs> forearm is uh, going to be part of this uh, because if uh, without the forearm is uh, that's where the human body has all the muscles for the hand. So I figured I'd uh, do the same thing and put all of the muscle into the forearm uh, and transmit it, uh, the power to the fingers from there, just like the human body, which is uh, a major part of this design and where I got my inspiration from is the human body. Nature's been doing things right for millions of years, so uh, why not copy it and make machines the same way? Uh, or tools the same way. So that's a brief overview. Thank you.